Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Many repairs will require you to remove both the top and front panels of your front load washer. To do this, first unplug the appliance before beginning. Your next step is to remove the screws at the back of the top panel. This will allow you to pull the panel off. Next, pull out the dispenser drawer and depress the tab near the back to release it. Remove the housing screws as well as the control panel screws on top. Now, depress the tabs to release the control panel and move it out of the way. Use needle nose pliers to remove the wire clamp and spring. And peel the boot seal off the lip of the front panel. Carefully lift the washer up and support it with a wood block or comparable sturdy object. This will allow you to remove the screws from the bottom of the front panel. Set the washer back down and remove the screws at the top of the panel. Now lift the panel up and out to detach. Disconnect the front panel wire harness to fully release the panel. Reinstall the front panel by first reconnecting the wire harness. Then align the holes in the panel with the nylon pins on the frame. Replace the screws at the top of the panel. Lift and support the washer. Then replace the screws at the bottom of the front panel. Set the washer back down. Realign the boot seal with the front panel and secure it with the wire clamp and spring. Reposition the control panel and snap it into place. Replace the screws on top, as well as in the dispenser drawer housing. Reinstall the dispenser drawer. Reposition the top panel and secure it with the screws. You're now ready to plug the appliance back in.